Hey everyone, so today I thought I would do something a little bit funny and I'm gonna do an X-Files tag. Um, these are just 11 questions that I made up um, just based on the X-Files, which is one of my favorite shows. It just recently came back and yeah, I just, I really like the X-Files, so I thought I would do this. Um, and yeah, I kind of did 11 questions because there are 11 seasons currently. And I just thought that would be a lot of fun. And, I, you know, I like this show and I like talking about TV shows that I like, so I thought this would be a fun tag to do. Okay, so question one. Are you a Mulder or a Scully? Skeptic or believer? Um, I think deep down I'm a Scully. I would love to say I'm a Mulder. Like, I want to believe, <laughs> but I just kind of don't. Um, it's like if I do believe in, like, aliens and stuff like that. Like, I want to say that, like, I don't know. Let's just say, like, I do want to believe, but if somebody were to, like, tell me a story about, like, how they have, like, a ghost that follows them or something, I, I, I kind of get skeptical. So I am more of a Scully in that sense. I'm also a Scully just because I think she's an awesome character and she's, like, a feminist and she's just, she's kind of my idol. And, like, I loved Mulder when I was started to watch the show, but now Scully's, like, she's my girl. I like the memes of, like, feminist Scully, like, she's, like, tired of Mulder's, like, all of his male stuff that he's done, and she's just, like, tired of the patriarchy, and I really dig that. I love Scully, so. Do you ship Mulder and Scully? Why or why not? Um, yeah, obviously I do. Um, I just, I don't know, I feel like just because, like, the seasons are just, like, I, the more you watch it, the more you're like, yay, I want them to get together, and it just... They don't have to get together. This show is good either way, which is kind of why I like them together so much. Like, the the whole narrative of the show isn't dependent on the fact that they are or are not a couple. And I just, I think that that's kind of awesome. And I wish that more shows were kind of like that today. Um, I feel like a lot of shows rely heavily on the will they or won't they, and I love that X-Files, like, straight up never told us if they were together at any point, except for kind of in the second movie, but I don't really count that, because I hated that movie, but, um, anyway. Okay, what are your favorite types of episodes, the myth arc episodes or the standalones? So, this is a tricky question, because, like, I don't know, I always get so excited when they have, like, if you watch the X-Files, there are, like, two different types of episodes. They'll have, like, a standard, a standalone episode that's, like, you know, like, Mulder and Scully are just, like, fighting the Chupacabra or something weird like that. Um, or they'll have, like, episodes that, like, you know, go through this bigger, like, government conspiracy type plot. And that's kind of, like, the plot of the show. That's how the season usually starts and how the season usually ends is with the myth arc episodes and they'll have a few in between they'll have like two part episodes where they will explain kind of what happens more like that um I do think the myth arc episodes are like my favorites but because like that's what like if I were to just go back and watch the x-files like in a hurry I would probably just watch those because that's the overarching story but, like, the episodes that kind of, like, stick out in my head more are, like, the standalones. Like, um, I'll, I'll mention one of those later that's my favorite episode. But I guess those don't necessarily stick out more in my mind, though, because I'm always like, oh, but the black oil and the super soldiers and all this other stuff and the device that goes click when you, like, get the thing. You guys know what I'm talking about if you watch the show, right? I hope I'm not just sounding crazy because I haven't watched, like, the original season in a couple of years but um yeah those episodes stick out in my mind too but like you know um like standalones like you could just watch any day like um like the one with the fluke man that's a really good episode and that's just like a standalone like monster of the week episode and I like that a lot so you know these types of things like you get it <laughs> What's your favorite episode? So my favorite episode is in season three, I think. And it's the one called Clyde Bruckman's Final Repose. It's kind of a lighter, like funnier type of episode. And the guest star of it is Peter Boyle. And he plays a psychic that like he can see people's deaths. Like he can't like see everything into the future, I don't think. But he can always see people's deaths. And like it's very mysterious. And that episode gets to another episode that was... It's kind of like in a fan theory now because like he Scully asked how she dies and he said you don't and like um, I'll get more into that later 
but I just think that that's really cool. Like everything about that episode was just so good. And I just really liked it. Um, it's just, it's a funny episode. It's, it's got a lot of heart in it too. And it's just, it's really funny to see like Mulder and Scully are very different in this episode. And it's just, it's a good one to watch. Okay, my least favorite episode. That would have to be the episode Space in season one. Um, I skip it anytime I'm rewatching it. I haven't seen it since whenever I first saw it, like years and years ago. And I don't think I would see it again. That's like a critically like bad episode. I think it's the lowest uh, rated, like as far as like the, you know, the numbers go as to how many people watched it. And yeah, it just, it wasn't a good one. It was very boring. Number six, your favorite guest star. So I already mentioned Peter Boyle in my favorite episode. So obviously he's one of my favorite guest stars, but I have a few more, obviously, because I love the show. <laughs> my my second and my third favorite episodes are all written by the same person that wrote the Peter Boyle episode that I just mentioned. And his name is Darren Morgan. And he also wrote an episode called Jose Chung's From Outer Space. And that one's really funny. Um, Jose Chung's definitely a favorite guest star of mine. Um, the actor that played him. I think he passed away somewhat recently. Um, but the actor that played him was just so good. He was like so funny. And he was in other shows that like the creator of X-Files wrote too. And like I want to watch those shows now just to see like what he did and like I, I just think that's really cool so yeah um that episode I think he's a fantastic guest star and he was just that character like just for like one episode character he like made that character his own and I just think it's so cool that he kept playing that character in other shows by Chris Carter so that was really cool and another favorite guest star of mine also from an episode written by Darren Morgan this was actually in an, an episode from season 10. So it's one of the newer seasons that aired in the last few years. Um, Kumail Nanjiani. He is a known X-Files fan. He has an X-Files podcast called The X-Files Files. And he just does a really good... He, di he wasn't in the episode for that long. But it was just so cool seeing him in there and seeing him like, you know, as a part of something that like he's grown up with. And that he really liked. Okay, so the seventh question I have on this is original series or reboot? This is a tough question. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to like the reboot at all because I didn't like, um, I didn't like the first, or no, I liked the first movie. The second movie was like one of the biggest disappointments of my life because I had been waiting for years for that movie. And then when I finally saw it, there were no aliens like what happened there was like nothing and like I can't I can't begin to imagine how disappointed I was <laughs> and like I can't begin to describe how disappointed I was in that that there weren't even any aliens or monsters or anything it was just like a bunch of like hot topics that were like from like 10 years prior to the movie coming out that like didn't make sense in this plot and it just it wasn't very good and um so that was disappointing but then, like, when they announced the series reboot, I was like, alright, I'll believe it when I see it. And then, like, more stuff kind of came out, like, about what was happening with the series reboot. And they mentioned, like, Darren Morgan was going to be back. And I'm like, Darren Morgan's doing the series reboot. Okay. And then they were like, there's going to be, like, an episode about home. And I was like, okay. Alright. I can, I can dig this a little bit. Um, and it was just kind of, it was really good. I was, like, impressed with the reboot and, like, a lot of the episodes, like, like I said, I really liked that, um, I think it was called Scully and Mulder versus the Were Monster. I liked that episode a lot and I liked the episode called Babylon. That was a really good one that had, like, Lauren, I think that was the first one with the two new Mulder and Scully characters, um, like the girl, Lauren Ambrose, who looks a lot like Scully, and I don't know who played the Mulder type character, but he looked a lot like Mulder, and you could tell that that's like the dynamic that they were going for, and it was really fun. I, I thought that episode was a good mix of like funny, and it was like kind of serious, and like it reminded me a lot of the original series. 
And I just, I kind of like what they're doing with the series and, like, how they're continuing on with the story and, like, how they've kind of, like, brought other things back from it. I just, I think that they've done a good job. Does that mean it's, you know, it's better than the original series? Probably not, but I can't say that I dislike it. I feel like there haven't really been any misses with this new series, with the, you know, more rebooted version even though it's just, like, an extend, an extension of the original series. I don't know. It's not really, like, a reboot, but it's, you know, it's over ten years later, I think. So it's kind of a reboot, and um, I just, I think they did a good job with it. And I feel like there are no misses in those episodes, but there are misses in the original series. And that kind of has to do with, like, you know, they, they've learned how to write better since then. So I think that has a lot to do with it, and I think... Now that the series is, like, well-established, it's more interesting when they do these things. So I like that a lot. Okay, so favorite seasons. This is tough, but it's really not tough. It's season three and season six. Those are my two favorites. Uh, season three is where, like, a lot of the, like, myth arc stuff got really interesting. That's when the Black Oil first happened. That was, like I said, when the Clyde Bruckman episode was, and a lot of those really, really great classic episodes. Jose Chung's From Outer Space was also in that one. It was really good that season. And I just, I really liked pretty much all of the episodes in that season. This one with, like two girls that were like in high school or something and it was their birthday and like Mercury was in retrograde or something and they were like I don't know it was like a spooky episode but it was also funny and it was like a high school like horror comedy type of thing and it was just it was really good it reminded me kind of of like like Scream but also like you know like Mean Girls (laughs) and another favorite season of mine was season six which is kind of like it's kind of just like a funny season um That was the first season that they did in Hollywood instead of in Vancouver. And I think that, like, it, like, looks like just, like, an expensive show when they just moved it there. Like, I feel like the production value went up, like, a lot. And, it like, there was a clear difference between, like, when they were in Vancouver to when they were in Hollywood. And that, you know, that's kind of funny. But I think they did, like, a lot of, like, campy episodes They had a lot of standalone episodes that were really good, and they just, they had so many fun episodes that there were, like, no episodes in season six that I thought were, like, a huge miss, or, like, that something was wrong. So that one always sticks out as one of my favorite seasons, Um, just because, like, I really like it. You could watch season six on its own without having watched any of the other seasons, and it would still make sense, and it would be a really fun, like, show. Okay, so number nine, what fan theories do you think should be canon? And I feel like I'm cheating with this one, because this fan theory kind of is canon in the new, um, in the new series with that, that they're doing, um, but the fact that Scully is immortal. There were kind of, like, a few, like, different episodes that kind of led up to that point of, like, the fact that, yes, Scully is immortal. First was the Clyde Brockman, when he says, you don't die, and, um, then there was an episode... I forget what the episode was called, but, like, the guy, like, took pictures of people and then they would die or something, or it would show how they died or something like that with, like, how he took pictures and Scully didn't show up or something, or, like, maybe it was he took pictures of people and then they didn't die, and he took a picture of Scully, so she can't die, and then now it's, like, she has alien DNA, and, like, she's even said, like, don't you know Mulder? I'm a mortal, and she mentioned that in the Scully and Mulder versus the Monster episode. So I feel like that one is canon by now, that, like, everybody knows that Scully isn't going to die, but I think that that's, that's pretty cool. I, I just like that that's a fan theory that kind of stuck, and I had to give that a shout-out in this tag. I didn't know how else to do that. Okay, question 10. Scariest monster. This one's hard. I feel like I don't even know what to say about this one because there are so many scary ones. Um, I think the episode in season four where the guy like he like ate people's cancer or something like that or he like attacked people that had cancer. That was a creepy episode. Just because, like, I think his head was off and then, like, he just kind of, like, blinked or something and it was just, like, gross. Like, he he came back to life from that and that was, that was kind of cool. <laughs> um, 
And then the fluke man, obviously, he probably, like, sticks out as, like, one of the scariest monsters. But just because, like, it was, like, after I saw that episode, I was, like, afraid to go to the bathroom. And, like, still, like, if I watch that episode today, I'll be like, oh, no, this could be bad. <laughs> but, like, and that was, like, oh, my gosh, they just did such a good job with that. And I, I really liked that one. Um, I think that's it as far as scary monsters go. I know I had another one can't remember it for the life of me so that's all I'm gonna mention now and maybe in editing I'll have something scrolling across the screen but if not then those are my scariest monsters the fluke man and whatever else I said <laughs> um okay so what did you think of the movies I already kind of mentioned that the second movie was like the biggest disappointment of my life um but the first movie I did really like. I think that that's the way to kind of, like, do a movie if you're doing something, like, in the middle of a series. That way, like, if somebody's, like, maybe, like, a couple, maybe one of them's, like, really into the X-Files and, like, the other one's, like, nah, I'm not that into it. You could see the movie together and you don't necessarily have to watch the show and you could just enjoy the movie for being a movie. Or, you know, if you've heard a lot about the X-Files but you'd never watched it, you could watch it and then pick up on season six, like, because it was in between season five and six, and season six was a very fun season that I think a lot of people would like. And yeah, I just, I liked that movie. Um, I don't really know if they should do any more movies just because the second one was so bad, and the new series that they have is so good. So I, I think, like, the little mini-series type things that they do every few years, I think that's really good, and I like those a lot. It's a really big story to tell just, like, in a movie or in a couple movies even, so I think that the um, the series is a good way to kind of reboot it, to just, like, have, like, a little mini-series instead of doing a movie or something, and I just, I really like it a lot. I think it's fun. Um, so, yeah. Those are, that's my X-Files tag. So I tag anybody that watches the X-Files. I'm going to tag Graveyard Girl. She's not going to watch this video, but I tag Graveyard Girl. I hope she stumbles across this somehow and sees that there's an X-Files tag out there. If she has a better tag, I hope that she comes up with better questions than this. But yeah, um, totally, definitely. I know Bunny watches it from the, I know that Bunny watches the X-Files. And I would love to see her do this tag. So um, I hope you guys are watching. Um, let me know if you liked this or if you'd like anything more like this. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.